let's write this is equal to i and also we will recall our integration formula integration a to b of fx dx is same as integration of a to b f of a plus b minus x now 10 can be written as sine by cos so we can write our integral i as integration of pi over 6 to pi over 3 and dx over 1 plus 10 can be written as sine by cos. So under root of sine x divided by cos x, which is same as integration of pi by 6 to pi by 3 this is under root cos x here, no? Under root is over sine as well as cos. So taking LCM, this can be written as under root cos x plus under root sine x. And this cos, which is in denominator, can be written up there, cos x dx okay now let's say this is is equal to i this is i and let's say this is equation one now we want to use this formula here uh, you can see a plus b minus x here a plus b a is pi by six plus pi by three minus x this value so when you take the LCM, this is 6, 2 pi, pi plus 2 pi, that is 3 pi, 3 pi by 6 minus x, and which is same as pi by 2 minus x, all right? So when you use this formula, you are getting cos of pi by 2 minus x, sine of pi by 2 minus x, right? So means you can write your i is equal to integration of pi by 6 to pi by 3 cos of pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x this will be square root and divided by square root of cos of pi by 3 pi by 6 pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x and plus square root of sine of pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x and we will write dx also. As we saw here pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x is going to be pi by 2 minus x and uh, then this is cos of pi by 2 minus x will be sine x. You can say this is equal to integration of pi by 6 to pi by 3, pi by 6 to pi by 3, cos 90 minus theta is square root of sine x divided by this also becomes sine square root of sine x plus square root of cos x. Now this is also equal to i. So let's say this is equation number two. You can write the formula because sine of pi by two minus x is cos x and uh, cos of pi by two minus x is sine x, yes. Now you can add i and i, right? One of this equation one and uh, this equation two can be added. i plus i would be two i. So we can write it up here, adding one and two. Adding one and two. We can write two i is equal to integration of pi by six to pi by three 
and uh, denominator is same sine x plus cos x or cos x plus sine x right a square root of cos x plus a square root of sine x and the numerator is earlier it was a square root cos x in the first one in the second one it is a square root sine x now numerator and denominator cancelled we get 2i is equal to integration of pi by 6 to pi by 3 1 dx now the integration of 1 is x we can write it like this pi by 6 to pi by 3 which is same as upper limit in place of x we write pi by 3 minus pi by 6 pi by 3 minus pi by 6 is 6 and then 2 pi minus pi which is pi by 6 so if 2i equal to pi by 6 that means i is equal to pi by 6 divided by pi by 6 divided by 2 that is pi over 